Hi, I'm Ranger Tori, and I'm really happy to be here on Earth Month to do reading with the ranger with you. Um, Earth Month is a really special month, a time to make sure we um, stop and listen to the spring sounds and watch the spring flowers and um, connect to Earth and um, understand how all of our actions um, can impact Earth and, and uh, make Earth our friend. And so with that, I'm really excited that um, we get to read My Friend Earth. So My Friend Earth is written by Patricia McLaughlin and illustrated by Francesca Sana. And we get to read this today with permission from Chronicle Books. So here we are. Here's Sleeping Earth. My Friend Earth wakes from a winter nap. She hears the busy spring sounds, the farmer's hoe tap tapping in the garden, the cause of crows. She sees the little, the silent seed, the spider spinning silver, the robin and the wrens. I love this line, she sees the little. Sometimes we think there isn't wildlife where we are, but if you just look at the little, what's the really little running around your, your plants or when you pass by an open garden or a little um, you know field or even a patch of grass coming out of uh, a cement what what's the little things in there I love that line and the large the long-winded albatross crossing the sea and the mole tunnel tunneling in the underdark she guides the chimpanzee to her nest and the ze zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. She tends the prairie where sun-dappled wild horses run through grasses that swish against their legs. The tundra where the reindeer graze for moss and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mittened feet. She guards all the creatures in all the oceans. The black mantra rays sleek like shadows. The shining parrotfish. The tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big. And the whales who are big. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill streams, flowing down mountains, through the fields, to the rivers, to the sea. And I think it's pretty incredible to think how when the rain falls, every river, every stream finally leads itself to the ocean. That's pretty incredible. Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows and roads until she dries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds, sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns. Until she stills the wind. So red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground. When cold comes again, my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent, covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in soft darkness, drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling into the empty nests of birds. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching, waiting, to fly up again in the warm, bright, bright sun of spring. That's the end of our book that took us through all the seasons. Watching the seasons go, it's pretty incredible. Sometimes it might feel like everything in your day is always the same, no matter what time of the year it is, what month it is. But if you can really sit quietly and listen and look at the little things, you really do feel the seasons come, even in Southern California and Los Angeles area where we feel like, but we don't have snow, but we still have seasons. You just have to watch for it. I hope you enjoyed the book and you get a chance to read more on your own. Happy Earth Month.